All right, what's up everyone? I'm still working on this panel, but you know what we're going to do? We're just going to go ahead and do the speech bubbles. I just tangented that line right there, so we'll have to fix that. Let's go with a... Sight line. Now, one of my problems that I'm having right now is I'd, I've gone with a type of pen that is not going to contain my white fill very well. So I don't have to look for any holes. Alright, let's give it a try. Oh, that worked. Okay. Alright, so I added more debris, as you can see. And um, we're making progress. I haven't done a really great job on rendering the light and shadow here. Um, no real excuses for that other than that it's just for class. I want to make sure that I get through the whole assignment. All right. Is that an okay panel? I think it's okay. Let me get back into the ink layer and the black. There's a lot of... Yucks! A lot of these lines have ended up in the wrong places. I think we're okay. Oh shoot, there's one. Problem right there. Right. We are where we are. Okay, let's leave it like right there. I think it's good. And make sure that we keep calm going. All right, and with this one. Oh, shoot, what happened? In this panel, he's being cornered by the drone.
Okay, as far as his face goes. They give him this really crazy wide mouth and I'm taking it away here. Did I go too big? The answer to that is maybe. I could make his shoulders bigger to compensate. But what we have here is he's caught in the headlights of this drone thing that's coming up outside that Moon Knight luckily landed in. I don't know if it was luck. Maybe he pointed it that way all along. If it was me writing the comic, it would be luck. Alright, I might have gone too big on the shoulder there. <laughs> but I got it's gotta match the size of the head. Oh shoot. Alright, here we go. I think I screwed that up. Something like that. I think this line should not be a line. I'm in the wrong, the wrong layer. All right, let's switch everything. If I was in the wrong layer, I need to fix that. Yeah, I was. No, I'm in the right layer. Um, I'm looking at my hands. <laughs> By the way, I did get dinged for the uh, hand on the previous page. He's like, you should do some more hand studies. Which, that's correct, I should. Let's drop this in. There we go. So that's contrast right there. Contra contrast is a big deal. Like if you're going to be inking, you look for those places where you can, where you can uh, push contrast. People are afraid to just block in a big area of black ink, but you know, you gotta get over that.
And it's actually the pinky. This finger might be the furthest one back. Tactical vest right there. Tactical vest right here. The stripe in his costume is here. Oh, and let's uh There we go. Oops. Drop the panels out, not the pencils. Okay. This wide open white area needs to get fixed, and so you need to figure out collarbones, pectoralis muscle, where's the shading? In this case, it's all front lit, so. Something like that. You're using Rusty Nib. Yep, I am. There we go. Caught in the spotlight. It's not no comma, it can't be. Although I'm pretty sure that's what I got out of the script. I think it should be no exclamation point. It can't be. That's how it should work. Let's get back on the ink layer. to fake in the song. All right, here we go. Something like that. You'll notice I dropped completely off of my pencils here. Like here's the pencils way over here. And I'm looking at it now. And this is this happens a lot when you're inking. And suddenly you'll see a better way. Some people say this is a good argument for tight pencils. I think it's a good argument against tight pencils. So there are certain things that become, they don't become apparent until later. Now, some of this might be just experience. When I get better, I'll get better at doing the penciling too. And I'm not at, I'm not very good at that part. That is my own shortcoming there. I don't think we have to go much further than that. Um, that finger looks weird. That thumb looks weird. Happy Friday, by the way, everyone. Friday.
It's just some random debris here. Truthfully, I don't think we know we have to go much further than this, this panel. And we should take care to shade the back. the figure. I may have screwed this up. Oh, this part is a I just noticed I screwed up okay military grade explosives where's that one when you have a narration box like this that's told as a sort of like a past tense double quotes Helps us to establish that there's two speakers. And that it all it's also sort of being told in the past tense. It also is a hint, uh, and I don't think the writer actually used this. It's a hint that you have an unreliable narrator. Where you could have an unreliable narrator if you want. Well, not one hundred percent sure that this is going to work. We're going to try it. We want to get back this corner, so we're gonna. There it is. All right. Debris falling from from the sky here. Oh, I did all that in the. See, I did it again. All right. No, it can't be. Where was it? Let's put it up here. Okay. Hmm. 
Alright, same deal. This is too far over. I'm starting to really figure out how I want to um, handle these things like lettering. I mean, there really is kind of a, a trick to figuring where to put the, the bubble so it carries us through the panel correctly. And like when I started doing this, I didn't think about that stuff at all. Just kind of put it anywhere where it fits. Actually, maybe speaking, using some kind of Let's do it that way. It's fine. We don't even have to do a white fill on this. But we do have to... We do have to put this in single quotes. Right here. Same problem. Oops. Double quotes. Right. That seems to kind of carry. Okay. I'm looking at this and I almost want to put a couple more barrels. Let's do another barrel up here. When you have a piece of debris like this and you want to emphasize that maybe it's a tube, make sure that you make your shadow rounded. That'll do most of the work for you. You can also do like a, a drimp right there. All right. All right, is that looking pretty Silver Age to you right now? I think it's looking pretty Silver Age to me. <laughs> this panel, of course, cracks me up. It's the sudden surrender. So remember that emotion is all in the, in the hands. Some people think emotion is all in the face. It's it's in the hand, fifty percent in the hands. So a surrender is like this, like he's.
Why is that pinky too big? Made the thumb too too big. Okay, same deal here. This arm was kind of angling this way. I think I want to make it go. Maybe I don't. No. Let's try what I had drawn. I think when you're surrendering, your, your fingers are going kind of 45 degrees in yeah, each direction. All right, let's try it. Let's move the pinky off just a little bit more. And this whole thing is going to get blacked out. I mean, it's going to be because we want to do the silhouette, front side silhouette. Better be in the right layer. Okay. Or maybe it's this way. You know what? Never mind. Let's go ahead and throw them out. That seemed to work, so we can go ahead and... There are parts of this that I want to be... It's only a partial silhouette, you know what I mean? I don't think I got the, the body language quite right on this. Um, Look, I think he's hurt his shoulder in this. Um, I wonder if I could take this hand and kind of move it over. Like over here in the pencils. What if I had his hand kind of... Yeah, because he's hurt that shoulder. And the reason we know this is because of over here, he's got boom, he got hit.
Okay. Well, we're at 31 minutes, so let's just call it a day right here. We got, we're at the halfway mark. We're almost done. I had a whole weekend to do it. I've got drive-in Saturday tomorrow, live show, 6 p.m. I think we're going to try and get through this. I'm going to put this guy, he's supposed to be wearing his uh, Mr. Knight costume, which I think is stupid, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on him. I like him better in this uh, turtleneck sweater. If I was a mercenary, I would wear a turtleneck sweater, right? Wouldn't you? Looks cool. All right. Talk to you later.